Uh, first of all, I want to commend uh, the vast majority of our students and staff who are doing the right thing. Uh, from what I've seen and I've heard, our students and staff are wearing masks and social distancing when possible. Uh, people recognize the rules are in place to keep everyone safe and healthy, and the vast majority are being careful and respectful of those rules that uh, we've put in place. The end result is this. Three weeks into the school year, and we have certainly had some cases. We've been very transparent about that. Uh, hop on our website. You can see all the numbers right there on the website. And there has been an impact at several schools throughout the district. But it has uh, been manageable, and our planning has paid off. And I want to re repeat that. Uh, our planning has paid off. Most students and staff are being conscientious uh, and are being very disciplined about the quarantine requirements. Uh, before I continue, I don't want to be dismissive of the impacts that it's had on our schools. At last count, nearly 1,500 students or staff have been told they need to quarantine. Uh, that's a significant impact, especially if you were one of the ones sent home for 14 days. But remember, a couple of hundred of them have already been cleared to return back to school or to work because of their 14-day quarantine period uh, uh, is over. Uh, don't let the quarantine numbers fool you, though. Uh, we have had some unusual cases where one student tested positive that resulted in dozens of students and staff being required to quarantine. At one school, one positive case resulted in 119 students and 10 staff members having to be quarantined. Those cases are unusual. On average, for every positive case, uh, 20 people are required to quarantine. That's like sending a small classroom home when a student tests positive. I know it's inconvenient. I know it's disappointing to be the students or the staff who want to be at school or at work, uh, but it's also manageable. Also, at last count, 46 of our schools or departments uh, have had a positive case to either a student or staff member. That means many of our schools have not had a report of a single case. Of course, as you all know, that will change over time. But our goal is to prevent spread in our schools. COVID-19 is a reality in our community, and that will affect our schools. Please remember that our vigilance does not end when the school day ends. This is a message that we have been getting out, and we will continue to get out. What do I mean by this? We have seen students and staff do a commendable job following the sensible rules at school. But it does no good to be conscientious at school, wearing a mask, social distancing around your classmates and your friends, if you're just going to leave campus, take off your mask, and socialize with those same classmates and friends. And that also goes for staff. Most of the cases we have seen in our schools appear to have come from outside of our schools. So what I'm asking is please be careful at school and also outside of school. That will go a long way to help us prevent the spread of the virus in our schools and in our community. I think that's why we have been relatively successful in keeping the number of positive cases down uh, in our schools. Lastly, uh, if you know me, uh, I always want to give thank yous. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to the folks working in our COVID command center. Um, not only do we have uh, county health department staff there, probably upwards of uh, 10 uh, each day that are stationed there, um, but also our school nurses are in there working with them side by side, working with the health department. They have offered a tremendous support and guidance uh, to our principals um, as they have experienced cases uh, at, their, at their schools. They have been busy. Uh, they have been put to the test every day and I will tell you that they, in my opinion, are passing with flying colors. So we have done a good job with uh, the management of COVID. Uh, the fight's not over yet. Uh, we are still reminding, I think just this week at staff, I, or I know it was today, I walked down and uh, talked to uh, some assistant superintendents about continue to remind uh, uh, principals and teachers uh, that masks need to be worn. Uh, we need to set the example and uh, they need to do the same thing in their schools and we need to make sure that everyone's wearing their masks and socially distancing where we can. So all in all, uh, we, have, we have, I think, done a great job. Uh, not perfect, but uh, we've done a, a job trying to keep our folks uh, safe.